Uh, so we're not sure what just happened. We just got stopped by something in the middle of the water. Good morning. We are packing our stuff. We are leaving Ubud this morning. It's around 6 a.m. and we have to go to the Sonor Harbor because we're about to get a boat to Nusa Penida, which is an island really close on the east side of Bali. We're gonna drop our big luggage off on storage, so we wanted to make a video about the logistics of that along with the boat ride over to Nusa Penida. We'll catch you in our car. Hopefully he's there. <laughs> Made it <laughs> to the port. Oh, Can you tell us one more time? What's the name of the company? Bali Fortuna. Bali, Bali Fortuna. Fortuna. Yeah. <laughs> Good taxi <laughs> service. Yeah. Thank you, uh, thank you awesome. so much for thank everything. You. you do. All right. We have to find the storage guy. So we'll sit on the side. And So there go our bags. Yeah, <laughs> he felt bad for us trying to bring it to the car, so he took yeah. them. We so far, everybody is super on time. Yeah, super punctual and friendly. And uh, we're yeah. actually early. Yeah, but we're rid of the big suitcases, which is nice. Let's have our baggies. So this is the beach port area, and you get all the boats on the right side. All the festivals. And all the little check installs on the left side. And it's uh, pretty busy already. Yeah. Same one? No. Uh, we go to Nusa Penina at 8.30. It's just, just, yes. We're in the right place. <laughs> All right, thank you. We've got our VIP tickets. And we're set to go now. It's by the Nazi go rank. So since we arrived a little early, we just stopped by and had some coffee. This is actually like the Bali coffee where you have to let it like subside the um, like the coffee grounds to kind of stay at the bottom and then you just drink the top part. If you don't let it rest, you're just gonna be drinking grounds and that's not <laughs> pleasant. We're here, we have about like 15 more minutes until we have to get on the boats. You actually have to walk through the water to get to most of the express boats. So we're gonna see how that goes. We're glad we put our big bags in storage because <laughs> that would be miserable. Um, but we're pretty excited. It's a nice day today. No rain, nothing. So we'll see how the transportation goes. So that's our boat over there. just happened we just got stopped by something in the middle of the water stopped by this random boat in the middle of the water so we're being abducted by let my parents know <laughs> uh, I guess maybe they're verifying that everyone has a life jacket in the event that something happens so they're making sure life jackets I guess are they gonna throw us in the water <laughs> they're trying to decide which one of us should be the sacrificial prisoner they're looking at Phil so I guess it's basically a good thing because uh, these accidents happen on these boats and people drown uh, very close to the shore which is horrible not everybody is an awesome swimmer and I guess they just make sure that uh, these boats fulfill the safety requirements and now everybody's getting in our best one eternity later 
Uh, that took about a little over 30 minutes. After they made sure everyone had a life jacket, then I guess they did some type of security check or something at the top. Yeah, some of them had to go over and I guess they had filled out some forms, maybe got fined or something. Yeah. Uh, anyways, a lot of people were getting very restless and asking for a toilet, so I am so thankful that I went to the toilet beforehand because I really had to go and I was like, I can hold it for 30 minutes. Nah. And we're here. All right, this is not the exact stop we hope we uh, will stop. And I guess we gotta take a taxi now. Because the, the pier where we thought we would arrive is just walking distance from our hotel. That's why we booked that kind of. But the beach is bright and the water looks clean. It's pretty cool. <laughs> So we made it to a hotel, uh, found a taxi for 70 from the pier, I don't know if that's too much or not, yeah. but they offered 200 in the beginning. So and, I think uh, it's good. So wrong pier, or not the pier, right pier, but not the pier we anticipated. Yeah, there's it's... like four different piers apparently, and each company does a different spot. Yeah. We didn't know, we thought we arrived just here and can walk to the Airbnb, but uh, we didn't. We so. arrived at the wrong one. 20 minute ride. Yeah, it's interesting to see how apps are not allowed, like Gojek and Grab are not allowed. And actually, I think these guys were arguing when we were at the pier. But good rule of thumb, as soon as you arrive, there's a bunch of taxi guys. It was 200. Just we walked away. Another guy followed us and was about to negotiate. Then another guy from the first group saw that and ran after him, started yelling. Yeah. So we just walked off just and at the main street, somebody came down the road behind us. Might have been one of the guys. We don't know. Yeah. And finally offered us a hundred and we we're like, yeah, it's made it for 70. Walking away from like the initial pier area for a second just so we could regroup but it was good it worked out we're here so hopefully yeah. we can figure it check out if not early we go to and find a scooter yeah let us check in early before doing thing airbnb tour main door i don't know what that is wreck wreck bed king bed and Ooh, outdoor bathroom yeah i think i think these are normal in super normal Lusa and, and bali as well it's it's half it's pretty outdoorsy like sunshine we got toilet paper it's the luxury lifestyle all right looks nice we're gonna get a scooter then we're gonna explore ready so that was our experience on how to get from ubud bali to the little town of pet here on nusa penida let us know in the comments below what you thought about the random boat pulling us over. At first we didn't realize it was the Navy, we thought pirates. it was pirates, so we could have been pirates. <laughs> Let us know what you would have done. <laughs> Pretty scary at first. Yeah. Anyway, if you liked the video, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.